This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, how lucky are we? Jason Timothy from Troop is here, and he is going to be preparing. Get up very close to your screen of choice, as I like to say, lentil salad with pomegranate, almonds, and herbs. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Great to see you as always. Good to see you as well. Good and nice to be here. Thank you for having me. You bet. Lots to talk about. We will uh, get into what's happening at True and what people need to know throughout right. the morning, of course. But let's talk about what you're going to be doing right here today. Take us to the ingredients. It all looks great. All right. So we're actually just added this uh, salad to the menu. It's a very basic lentil salad. Got some mixed lentils. We have so we have some black lentils. We have some split red lentils. Some green lentils. Yellow lentils. We have some toasted almonds. Uh, some pomegranate seed some fresh herbs, your run-of-the-mill salt pepper, and then some tiny mizuna greens are just going to finish the plate with, and then we have a yellow curry emulsion that's going to finish the whole dish off. Very cool. The password is lentils. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love that, and the colors, I love it, so vibrant there, just kind of popping off the screen, and you can kind of take us through the process. If maybe someone at home has never prepared something like this, you could take us through the steps, steps this morning, can't you? Yes, absolutely. So, Basically, with the lentils, you know, you could do one of two things. Um, you could either soak them overnight, which is probably some, sometimes the best way to go. Right. If not, um, if you're in a pinch, you could always just rinse them really well, bring them to a boil, um, cover with enough water, and then we like to have a little bit of texture, so we cook it to about al dente. We're constantly checking it after, say, like 15 minutes or so. Well, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to prepare, just go to Troop and order one, right? This is very true. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> Solves everything. Remind us, I'll right. tell everyone out there, for those unfamiliar, if you will, where you're located. So we're located at 60 Valley Street. It's down in Olneyville. Um, we've been open for about three years now. And uh, it's... Been a, it's a great time, great experience. Um, if you're really into food, music, it's a great spot. Really Even a dope like me has been in, <laughs> and I had a great time there. And it's really, really great. So we can learn more all about it as the morning rolls on. And by the way, Jeff, that's the coolest apron I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> this is actually um, a really good friend of mine made this apron. Um, he's actually working out some things, but this might you might see this coming to a theater near you. It's called the Bilby. That's the name. So. Keep your eyes out. It rhymes with Kirby, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> it worked, but I love that. And uh, just how rewarding is it for you and the team down there at Troop to still be, you know, pushing through and, and, and doing what you do during this time? You, to be perfectly honest, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of our group, um, top to bottom, you know, from my partners. I mean, all of us kind of collective effort trying to pivot, pivot, pivot. I think wow. we all have broken ankles at this point. <laughs> um, from my managers to, you know, our chef. You know, they've really come together as a group and they've really been able to sure. put together, uh, I mean, some fantastic work within some really tough times. So I'm really proud of those guys. Well, it is a testament to your professionalism and dedication. Chef Jason Timothy, thank you very much for being here. Thank He's you. from Troop. He's here all morning long. You don't want to miss it. Back to you. If you want a delicious meal like we were just talking about, Jason Timothy's got it. Troop is the restaurant lentil salad with pomegranate, almonds, and herbs on the menu. This is a healthy dish that you can uh, you can put together. Jason and I was also saying, I follow you follow you folks on Instagram. You are yep. always posting just incredibly delicious photos of all well, of the food that you have. Well, the kids do a great job in the kitchen. Um, our chef, Chad Hart, He's really been able to wrangle in the kids, and they've really been coming up with some really great ideas lately. So, yeah, yeah. you know, today we have one of those dishes that we're going to throw together for you. It's fairly simple. Um, and, and all good for you, too. And, very, and actually, again, very healthy. Right. Um, if you're looking to kind of either maintain the weight or lose some weight, sure. it's a perfectly good salad. Um, very healthy, again. Lots of energy giving. Right, right. Lots of protein in those lentils protein, and everything right. else too. Yes. Exactly. So, so what do you want to do right now? So what we're going to do is we're basically going to mix all of our ingredients. So what we have here, again, I, uh, we talked about earlier, I have some roasted almonds, a couple different kinds of lentils cooked, um, some pomegranate, a little bit of mizuna, salt, pepper, some herbs, and uh, yellow curry emulsion. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to assemble um, all these things in the bowl and get some almonds in there. You could be, I mean, it's up to you as far as how much or how little. Um, per each, we'll right. add enough, because what we do is we'll add, we'll fill the whole plate when we're actually going to the plate. Okay. And what is that that you just put in there? Uh, this is some red split lentils, so oh. they kind of look like they're overcooked, but they're just al dente. Yeah, they, they really are so many different types of lentils. When you go yes, to the market, are. it's like in you know, rows and rows of all of the yes, lentils. Yes, there are. Yeah. So what we have here is just some cho uh, chopped herbs, some parsley, thyme, chives. Just imagine there's some celery, celery leaf in it. We put celery leaf in it in the, at the restaurant. Okay. Um, apparently there was a shortage today. So, <laughs> moving right along. I actually found that. that. He's not kidding about that. No. I have a hard time finding celery. <laughs> so, a little bit of olive oil. 
a little bit of red vinegar, and mm. that is just to kind of wet the salad a little bit so we, it's easier to toss. A little salt and a little pepper. I also am saying that because the vinaigrette, the emulsion itself, is a uh, very um, it's very strong. It's got Jason, some strong flavor delicious. to it. That looks beautiful. So what we're gonna do is just go right to the plate and kind of with this, you know, we just kind of push it all the way out to the edges. So basically, your your lentils are so making good. up the whole the plate. So again, you know, you this might come to your table and you might be like, well, that's not a lot of food, and actually, it's. It's a fair amount. It's a fair amount, especially with the lentils, the almonds. It's very filling. Right. That'll fill you up. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to get all that on there. All right. Okay. And so we're going to take some of our mizuna. We got this, these mizuna greens from the farmer's market this past weekend. So what does a mizuna t taste, uh, taste like? Is it yeah, mizuna, it had, it's a little bit sweet, a little, it has some pepperiness. Okay. So it has, it's, has hints of like arugula, but not so aggressive got and it. not so... Because sometimes um, arugula can be a little overpowering. Really too. spicy on the palate. Right. Um, so this is a, is a nice kind of clean balance with a little bit of spice note. Nothing too crazy. Right. It's not going to like take over your palate. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take actually a little bit more olive oil to our greens. And again, we're saving this for last. Um, and just dress lightly. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And actually what I'll do is I'll just give this a little bit. And we'll just give that a nice toss. Right. And how, you know, we would at the restaurant, we would be wearing gloves doing this. Um, and just kind of... Place that all over. Place that kind of in a way. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of just do what you want with it, you know. That looks so good. We'll gus it up. And then all we're gonna do is with our emulsion, a lot of flavor, so a lot of uh, sweet, sour spices. So we're just going to kind of right over the lentils. Wow, that looks great. Jason, just so we just have a little time and left, you just tell us where you folks are. So we're located down at uh, 60 Valley Street, down cool in Omniville. Cool location, too. Very cool location. We're located down Rising Sun Mills. Mm -hmm. um, it's in the plant, which is a part of Rising Sun Mill. Right. Um, we've been there for about three years. Um, and we've been rocking on even through the, uh, these hard times. We've kind of found a way to, you know, do everything the right way, do it safely, keep our customers safe, yeah. keep the staff safe. Yeah. So it's been a hell of a ride, yeah. but you know. You've, you've made still, it so far. Yes. It really is, it's a great location, a hip vibe, a really cool vibe while you're there as well, and some unique and delicious food. If you would like the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website, that is roadshow.com.